Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again. This week, we're actually gonna be starting a brand new series called Friends of Jesus, where we're gonna be learning lots of different stories of men and women throughout history whose lives really showed us what it looks like to be a friend of Jesus. In 1 Corinthians, we read, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And you know, these people that we're going to look at and we're going to learn about every week, they really believed that their lives could show people what God is like. And we're going to be learning about the many different ways that we can be a friend of Jesus and the different ways that we can help other people to become friends of Jesus as well. I'm really excited actually to introduce you to all of these amazing and yet ordinary people who changed the world for God from inventors to missionaries, businessmen and women to poets. God can use all sorts of different people for his glory once we've decided to become a friend of Jesus. Now this week we're gonna learn about someone who was a very famous storyteller and he became a friend of Jesus. And I wonder if you ever like to make up stories yourself. In a moment, we're gonna pause the video and this is your chance to get all of your creative juices flowing. I want you, with whoever you're watching with, to either write a short story, and it really doesn't have to be very long, or you could just make one up in your head, or you could draw a picture that tells a story. It can be about anything at all. The wackier, the better. Hey, this is what I came up with. It is the story of the crying dinosaur. And here we can see a little stegosaurus talking to a big, big, tall brontosaurus. And he's crying. And the little stegosaurus, I think, is saying, why are you crying? What's made you upset? And then you see in the picture below, the big, tall brontosaurus says, I'm not upset. I'm frightened. I'm scared of heights. Now that's a bit of a silly story, but it's not a very good one for the big tall brontosaurus. What can he do to avoid heights? Anyway, that's my story and it was just a bit of fun. But I think it's time to hear the story of today's friend of Jesus. And you know, I think that some of you might actually know some of the stories that he told. This is the story of C.S. Lewis. I wonder, do you ever make up stories? What are they about? Princes and princesses? Knights and dragons? Robots and dinosaurs? Well, Clive Staples Lewis always made up stories, even when he was a little boy. He even made up a new name for himself, Jack, and that's what people called him. Some stories were about talking animals, some were about heroes, some were about magic and mystery. But as Jack grew up, he thought that Jesus was just another one of those stories. He didn't know that Jesus was real and that he could be his friend. Jack was very clever. When he was a grown-up, he was a teacher and he taught in a university. And that's where people go to learn more after they're too old for school. The other teachers there were very clever too. And some of those teachers were friends of Jesus. Jack began to wonder whether maybe Jesus wasn't just a story after all. Soon, Jack discovered Jesus was real and he became friends with Jesus. Now, Jack wanted everyone to know that Jesus was real. 
He wrote books. He gave talks. He spoke on the radio. People read his books, listened to his talks and heard him on the radio. And they became friends of Jesus too. Jack really wanted boys and girls to be Jesus' friends as well. So he began to write stories. Stories with talking animals, heroes, magic and mystery in a place called Narnia. But the stories were really about Jesus. Maybe one day you could read stories about Narnia for yourself. Well, wasn't that amazing how C.S. Lewis used his talents and the fact that he was a friend of Jesus to share the brilliant news that God loves us all. We're going to pray now, but before we do, I would like you to pause the video again in a moment and to talk with the people that you're watching with about some of your gifts and talents and what they might be. Then we're going to pray that you'll be able to find ways to use those gifts to bring glory to God just like C.S. Lewis did. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for C.S. Lewis and for all of those amazing stories he wrote. Thank you for the tales of Narnia that teach us more about you. We thank you that he was willing to use his gifts to let people know how much you love them. And each of us have been given gifts as well. Many of us have just spoken about the things that we are talented at. And we ask that you will help us to use each of our gifts to bring you glory, to tell other people the good news that you love them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again for joining us this week. And I look forward to seeing you again next time where we'll learn about another friend of Jesus. <laughs>